Tästähän mä näen chatin. Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been two years. It's been two years. Yep. Yeah. That's there's delay. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's always delay. Yeah, so it's been two years since we um, launched SGW uh, originally. So we are kind of streaming to celebrate that. And we're going to start off by having them do some art stuff, some like basically, I guess, fan art of our own game. And then we're gonna have Matthias who made the soundtrack to do some music stuff and Sabi who did the 3D and animation is gonna do some animation stuff I think. And then we're gonna play some old play some old versions and we're gonna do some QA well, while we're at it. Yeah, it's gonna be a QA session like all along. So whenever you have any questions relating to SGW or the task at hand or whatever well SGW or game gaming related, you can just throw your questions in the chat and We'll be we'll here all night, we'll be, we'll or do, I guess all day if you're in America. Yeah, we'll do, do our best to answer the questions. Yeah, but I guess we'll let them continue yeah. like, or start the whole thing yeah. with the... Uh, <laughs> super, official, <laughs> super official intro. Yes. Also, there's going to be probably some stuff happening at the background because we're at the office, but it shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. There's, yeah, for so example, just, one guy playing Fallout 2 at the moment, so... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Let's see so what yeah, happens. <laughs> Are we on? Yes. We are on. So, would you like to tell us something about yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Demo and I'm the lead artist, I guess, uh, in our team. Uh, I was responsible for most of the designs for SGW1, like the mechs and uh, uh, the enemies, a uh, bunch of other stuff. We were quite a small team back then, so it was basically me and Savi, our uh, animator slash 3D artist. So. It's mostly our handiwork, and uh, currently I'm working as as kind of like this, well, lead artist and coordinating a lot of different projects that we're doing right now, and then doing uh, pre-production for our own own things, and you know just doing a lot of art stuff. So uh, mainly I do 2D art, but then when we're in production, I also do uh, 3D art, uh, level art. Uh, Mostly in production wise, I'm mostly doing just 3D stuff. And in pre production, I'm doing concept art, uh, illustrations, and marketing art, that kind of stuff. So, here today, I was thinking I'm gonna, since I have uh, about an hour and a half, uh, half hour 15 minutes to do stuff, so I'm just gonna do some sketching, uh, doing something similar to what our mechs in SGW are, kind of with this comic book style, so it like kind of ink, kind of like what Inktober was last month, I did a lot of ink stuff. So doing something like that, I'm just, I'm just gonna start out and do something and see how far I can go. <laughs> and if you have any questions or anything else, you can ask and I can see the chat here with a bit of a delay and, and Tom is here to help me mm -hmm. uh, uh, with the questions and kind of like as a narrator or what would you call it? I don't interviewer, know. Or interviewer, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sort of something like that. The annoying guy with the, all the questions. Yes, because I haven't streamed that much. I think it's been like I don't know how many years since I last streamed anything. So I might have a hard time talking and drawing at the same time because <laughs> I'm really don't have the routine or anything like that. So uh, well, I can show some stuff uh, I've been doing these past few days. I posted this one. Uh, on Twitter, so I'm gonna do something like this today as well. And let's see. I don't think we can. I can like. I don't think I can finish one to this level or anything like that uh, today. Let's see. But you know, something in the style of this, these kind of things. Yeah. All right. So 
I'm going to shut up and just <laughs> start doing it. <laughs> I'm going to throw some questions at you at some to some point. Yeah, see. yeah, you do that. Let's get you started first. Yeah, I'm going to get started with something. Uh, start maybe. I'm just going to start with the head and, you know, go down from there. <laughs> the good thing with digital, I don't have to worry too much about planning too much ahead necessarily if I don't want to. Of course, it's usually a good thing to do, but... hearing in the background is of course the awesome soundtrack from the from the game made by Matthias who is gonna do some music stuff later on
pressure. Make a cool mech on stream in one hour and 15 minutes. That's, uh, nah, it's, I don't know. It's not too bad, I guess. Cool is always. <laughs> sometimes they turn out cool, sometimes no. I've made a bunch, bunch of not cool mechs and drawings and whatnot. But, you know, I'm usually the only one who sees them because <laughs> they're just like stored in the depths of my uh, hard drive or whatever. Yeah. It's a good thing that uh, cool is not subjective or anything. It's, no. It's always objective. Yes. Well, there's a degree of objectivity to it, but I guess. But Universal yeah. values of cool. Yeah, it's, it's a bit tricky. <laughs> yeah, this guy looks, looks quite mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> degrees the of coolness. Degrees. Cool. The, the 50 degrees of cool. Yes. 50 shades of cool. <laughs> 50 shades of cool, Ed. It's a one lean, mean killing machine. Yeah. Yeah, this guy looks, looks pretty mean, pretty badass. Uh, I like to make him look kind of mean, have this kind of low, low rimmed helmet. Part, very kind of Gundam esque, I guess. Uh, Gundam is a big influence on SGW and, and on me as well, so they're like my favorite mix. So that's why SGW also has a lot of influence from Gundam. Like these air intakes, for example, in the, in the face mask and whatnot. I like using these. Tricky to get right. Something that's reminding me of when I'm saying it because it might affect the rest of the thing. <laughs> you start thinking about it and. Yeah, maybe. Nah, I'm at... Shoulder pads are always cool. <laughs> How many points did I get to the full factor? It's at least five <laughs> on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to keep this quite loose. It's a nice brush, brush strokey feeling going on. Plus, that, that means I can. I can be a bit looser so I can maybe get some more done. Mm -hmm. 
So as some may know who who have um, played Star Wars Galaxy Warriors, uh, the mechs are named after animals. Uh, how did that affect the designs, or did they? Uh, yeah, they did a little bit. It's uh, I actually talked about this today in a meeting that the the animals were more like a, I don't know, I guess like a totem animal or like a uh, what would you call it in English? Um, more like an influence rather than actually making the mix themselves look like their respective animals. It's more about the, trying to give them a bit of a feeling of that and that it would show in other stuff as well, not just the visuals, but like kind of like, for example, sound effects or, or kind of like uh, the mechanics, how they work, uh, try to bring that animal thing going on from from other stuff but rather than maybe you know silver wolf getting like looking actually like a wolf or giving you know him a ears or whatever I'm gonna actually save this now because I keep pressing control s all the time and I'm gonna name this guy silver wolf even though he's probably not silver wolf but, but yeah if I, if I keep spamming control s and if I haven't saved it it's gonna pop up the save save window Always save, kids. Yeah. myself so I don't actually know how what are there like alternative platforms for streaming what's popular or whatever especially art wise I mean I guess most artists still stream on Twitch or YouTube uh, if, if we're talking about like artist streaming but I'm not really sure which, which is most popular uh, among artists A direct question to Frodo is there how many art streams or creative streams are there in Mixer? Just have to go to make sure then so you can use your emotes. Yeah, I should actually look into it. So I have like no knowledge of it.
I think the SGW logo would make a nice emote. Yeah. Stage music started playing. Frodo got some uh, PSD, probably. Like, uh, no, PTSD, sorry. Yeah, PSD. Fo Photoshop <laughs> files. Photoshop files from that. Yeah. What, the Hype Queen, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it's. Hype Queen is fun to do, though. <laughs> well, I only did the drawing and some texture work on, on the Hype Queen boss itself. Subby did the modeling and animation. Ish shoulder pads because I usually do like kind of angular. Mm -hmm. Best air resistance. Yeah, aerodynamic. Even though I guess mostly they fight in space, but they still go. Oh, well, you planets. got a new game plus ten. Holy crap! Wow, that's. <laughs> we didn't think that was possible. <laughs> I thought it was like seven or. Something. It might get a bit tough at that point. Yeah. I mean, I guess the uh, Pipe Queen is sort of like a kitty cat in the normal game, so, you know, it starts to be like a sort of a. How would I call it? Maybe an Ocelot in New Game Plus 10. <laughs> at plus 20, it's gonna be like a Puma or something, Panther. usually really lazy with arms uh, in, in these guys because it's not like a very uh, a part of the mech that, that that's very defining or anything like that it's mostly like the shoulder pads and the helmet and maybe the chest and, and, and feet so usually arms I'm just like they're quite similar in many of my drawings For now, I'm just gonna indicate some arms here that it's you know, doesn't look as weird, and also helps me a bit to get the proportion right. But I'm gonna probably still end up coming back and fixing it, or changing it, or replacing it like this a little bit. Trying to also keep an eye out on the time. It's already 18:30. When did we start? Or what's the time slot anyway? Is it like uh, you have until you have still like an hour? Okay. Life drawing, <laughs> and you have like 20 minutes, and then you you're like really like pressed for time, and you feel super stressed when you're doing life drawing. For especially like I think like 15 minutes is really tough, or like 20 minutes because then you're like kind of kind of try to get it done quickly for at first, like get something on paper, and then you once you have kind of like the whole whole body and everything, the whole figure on paper. Uh, but you've rushed it so there might be some mistakes and then you end up kind of like trying to fix it for the rest of the time and you mostly just end up making it worse for the rest of the time and then it's like the last five minutes you spent ruining it, ruining what you did. But, I don't know. I don't do life drawing that much so I'm not the best at it, definitely. But it's fun. Great artist and modest at it. 
I don't think I've ever met an artist who was like not modest. Just everybody is just like, oh, my own stuff sucks and your stuff is great. <laughs> everybody has like serious issues with with their own work most of the time. Well, not well. I guess not most of the time, but it's I don't know. Most people seem to be quite humble. I'm not sure if we've asked Frodo, but what's your favorite song on the uh, soundtrack? songs. Yeah, surprisingly, that's the song that's got most views on YouTube as well. I'm not sure why. Maybe because it's so goddamn badass. <laughs>
some reference for inspiration. Legs are always difficult. Or like that, the the hip joint area is, is is very tricky to like come up with new kind of shapes there or ideas or whatever and because it's a very complex area for because it's a mech but it's also humanoid and it's like non-organic so they kind of all have to fit together and it's it's very challenging. my way to doing a thruster here but then I kind of got distracted by something else and moved on to something different. <laughs> give him here some thrusters, right? You can always give a thruster here somewhere. Like it's that doesn't really show. It has to be something that where you can kind of see the exhaust. I don't know, this could be like a power cell rather than a, a thruster because it's it's here. Strafing thruster? Yeah. Usually with Gundams like that, strafing thrusters are like, of course, here mm -hmm. on the side of the pauldrons. And they might have some in their legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to Google what's an appendix when you're talking about machines, or machinery, or, or engines. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, that, that's why I was confused. I'm not gonna draw an appendix on this. <laughs> It'd be hard to show it. I guess it's a, it's a more biomech then. Yeah, that would be more biomechanical. Straight, straight up mechanical. Oh, you mean spikes? Oh, you mean spikes? Yeah, sure, we can add spikes. That's like, kind of like Warhammer, if you're doing something Warhammer inspired, it's like, you gotta just add spikes and more skulls everywhere, right? So then it becomes more hammer. So that's more hammer or third. Yeah. Just add some skulls here. You know. Nice little skull here coming out of the. It's very chaos. You can make it blend into the <laughs> into the shoulder pads and then just just repeat it all over, right? Make like a nice more hammer mech. There you go. Got some nice skulls going on. That's not quite SGW, I don't know. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe one of them had a goth face, you know? Yeah. Maybe that spikes, like, maybe not spikes, but like these, uh, I guess maybe like a blade would be a better word for it. Almost like wings. Of 
Frodo wants the mech to be named to Lethal Frodo. Yeah, I would do that. Let's make it Lethal Frodo. And it's good to have some text or like some, uh, you know, some typefaces or whatever in these because it makes them look more like military. Some typefaces in. Let's see. Does it have like a what's yeah, that underscore? underscore? Right. We can use this awesome font called. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's just the last update. That every time I open the font window, first time it lags a little bit. But I have an awesome font. It's called Comic Dumb. Sense? No, no. <laughs> it's called Dumb Nerd. Oh yeah. I like that it. it's cool. It's kind of like this. Right. Let's make it so that it's kind of on that shoulder pad there. Mm, that might be too big. actually shows so it's like wrap it around this whole thing kind of also show the shape of the shoulder pad with this at the same time because it's not very easy to define like contours with this kind of very very graphic ink like style unless you start doing like cross hatching or that kind of stuff but I'd rather not. That's very time intensive. Plus I like this kind of like a bit vague style. Right. Also what I, what I want to add is, since it's the second anniversary, so we're going to do... Um, Anniversary sounds kind of like a like a Star Trek ship, <laughs> so he's gonna be Anniversary Mark II. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe we can get it to his helmet. Hmm. 
perfect there. It's going to be very small, but I don't know. It's, it's fine. I don't want it to be too obvious. It's bigger. This thing, I guess, technically should bend from here a little bit. So just really careful not to fuck up the excuse me the, the lettering All right and now we grunge them out a little bit so they kind of fit better Say hi, hi Frodo. <laughs> there we go. I think Frodo is playing with his life at the moment. Life at the moment, since he's talking about doing a twenty-four hour SGW stream. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, it's gonna be like twenty-four hours of new game. 10 plus uh, Hive Queen. After which Frodo is probably going to be found dead. Which would be <laughs> tragic. So maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> I actually realized that I think his head is a bit too small. I mean too big. Gotta give that heroic scale. Mm -hmm. I can also adjust it a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Although... You're not alone, Frodo. Don't worry. She paints us all. that you said you want online multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, that's a... It's a big one. <laughs> we started out wanting to do it, but then we realized that we just couldn't do it. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe next time, yeah. I mean, if we would have actually tried to do it, I don't think we would have a game at all. It would have been just too much for our experience and our team size. No, no need for online multiplayer. Just light the pin on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plus, I don't like doing them. <laughs> they just start indicating them a little bit. Although knees, knees are nice, like the knee armor plates. But
giving it a little bit of detail. Okay, let's try again. What? What? What does it say? It says 9XYG5 FGMVR W5B95. Alright. So is that like first come, first serve? Oh, sorry. Now that you have the end, let's. Here's the. Of it. It's hard without a live preview. What? You cannot see the first letters. Yeah, I'm, I moved it already. Am I in the way? No. Nope. There we go. Now someone get it. If someone didn't understand, that's a steam key, so try using it. How would it be a celebration without some gifts? Although I guess we're doing it the wrong way. We should be getting gifts, or oh, SGW should yeah. be getting, getting gifts. But I guess this is much more fun. Yeah. Oh, we're actually gonna at the end of the soundtrack already. Uh, what's the timer? Uh, you have half an hour. Half an hour, all right. Cool. I thought I was already at like 15 minutes. Or... Nope. I mean, if the original schedule was, was to be up to then it would have been. Yeah. This would have been the end. I mean, surely the uh, soundtrack is, is actually that good that we could just play it on, on an endless loop for like. <laughs> Well, for to infinity, and people would just fall in love with it even more. I'm sure.
seems no one got that steam key, so <clears throat> let's try again. If nothing else, screen cap it and share it with someone. It's more about the your process of doing these art pieces. Do you usually find more reference from uh, other visual arts or like from sounds or music? Usually from like other well subject matters. Sometimes like for SGW, sometimes it's it's it might be cars, for example, or or like jet fighters. But of course, most of the reference from for SGW comes from the the. Well, the Gundam series and the Gundam figurines, uh, because they're excellent reference because they're real life objects. So you can get quite nice, uh, you know, you can see, you know that the parts kind of work together, so you can use that as a reference for the structures and, and stuff like that. Uh, but then, of course, like details, you can find references, for example, from from uh, attack fighters, cars, like with with Amber Fox, for example, I used a lot of like Lamborghinis as reference. For the air intakes and kind of like that, uh, trying to get that same kind of uh, muscle car vibe a little bit to her, or, or him actually, <laughs> or I don't know, did I spoil anything? Maybe. But yeah, anyway, anyway, it can be really anything. Music is more like just to help me focus, you know, and that, and that really varies from just the day basically. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I listen to very like relaxing music or calm, or sometimes very aggressive and you know metal and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You haven't uh, noticed uh, that at least on like subconscious level or anything that you can do would uh, listen to some certain type of music when drawing some certain type of stuff? I do have that sometimes, yeah, definitely. Uh, especially if you're doing something that, you know, you want to uh, kind of, if you want to nail a certain mood down, for example, then you kind of listen to music that gets you that same mood as you want to try to visually show mm -hmm. uh, and that's especially in environments and, and when working with color and, and doing that kind of stuff uh, but just for purely for design it's a, it's a bit different uh, approach I guess at least for me mm -hmm. usually it's just, it's just to kind of blot out <laughs> outside distractions and, and maintain focus and that kind of stuff and also you know if it you know makes you feel good so you're in a good mood and at least that makes my work more enjoyable and hopefully it kind of shows in the work as well that it's better because if you, if you have a bad day and you know you don't know feeling it, it's it's really hard to get you know your best work done
do you find uh, drawing or uh, like concepting the environments uh, or the mechs or like characters? Which of those do you find most uh, pleasing to you? Like, what do you like the most? Uh, that depends on a lot because. Uh, I don't really know myself either, so it's kind of like more like what I have been doing. Uh, for example, now these are like the most fun for me right now. But probably if I do these for another five or ten or fifteen of these, then I'm gonna start to get kind of like burned out on that one typical method of doing a similar style or, or just the subject matter even in general. So, so then it gets refreshing to go into doing, for example, environments or or guns or or something else completely. And sometimes it's more fun to do uh, kind of like a more like an art piece like an illustration and sometimes it's more fun to do a pure design that's supposed to be something that, that you can you know work off of in, in 3d so it really kind of changes a, a lot for me at least uh, that kind of like sometimes it's more fun to do different things and it's nice nice to be able to change it around because I think I would get really burnt out if I would have to just do purely like concept art or like line drawing or purely just painting or I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I doubt he's gonna make 13 lethal photos now. <laughs> Thirteen lethal Frodo Max. I mean they all gonna need a pilot so Yeah. I guess Frodo ha needs to get busy. Actually, bullet holes are not very good for this because bullet holes are excellent at showing scale, mm -hmm. and because these are supposed to be quite large, mm -hmm. so you couldn't see bullet holes yeah. very well. I mean, they would look something like this. So it's better to be like this, kind of like scratches or whatever. Actually, the, the texts are like the best way to show scale yeah. here. Unless, if, of course, like I, if I draw a dude for scale here, like that looks like a penis. <laughs> Here's a dude for scale. And if he would have legs, I would like put him like down here, standing next to him. And he would be very tiny. Like I think I have show you. Uh, no, that's not the one. Well, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Actually I probably shouldn't show this. It's kinda NDA-ish. But anywho. Usually you use a guy for a scale. Just to show. Because it's really hard to tell what, what size anything is if there's nothing uh, that you can relate to as a human in terms of size. And for example with SGW there was a lot of questions that like what size, like are these like big mechs or robots or are, are these like, are they uh, like suits of armor, like I don't know, sci-fi armor suits? Because it's really hard to tell the scale from the in-game models and whatnot. Uh, so, but initially the idea was that if they are quite large, like something like you know 15, 20 meters, so quite big, kind of like Gundam scale, these large fighting mechs. So yes, they're double the size of your orbit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> not gonna be fun to look at me struggling. Well you have 15 fun. minutes. Yeah. So. It's not gonna be too much fun. I don't know, maybe it's fun if you see watch me struggling with trying to get the legs right. Especially when they're when I'm kinda like wing, winging this, you know, there I don't have any you no know, sketches or perspective plotted or anything like that, so it's just purely just noodling it out, eyeballing the perspective. So they found the mis mistakes. Yeah, it's 
funny for someone who would kind of even draw a stick figure in like on paper like properly so to hear like this is some like bad stuff or yeah like, yeah i so mean good. It's not bad, but it's it's easy to make mistakes here. So you know, if I if I move on to the legs, I'm gonna struggle a lot because, well, I guess I could kind of start blocking it out with like simple shapes, but I don't have the whole perspective plotted. And yeah. There's some mistakes here and there maybe, so that's gonna affect like the end perspective. Because if you make perspective mis mistakes, they kind of cascade down. So you know, if you reference uh, the perspective to the previous mm -hmm. drawing you have. Like you think the perspective is here, you kind of reference it to that one. But if, if the head is wrong, for example, then it's going to cascade all the way down into mm -hmm. everything else, and it's just going to get more wrong all the time. Then you can try to kind of maneuver around that by just trying to kind of indicate, try to trick the viewer to just see that, you know, just look, using, for example, larger shapes and try to make the brain connect the dots so, instead of you having to draw everything. These are always tricky with that because I do the Gundam kind of crotch plate mm -hmm. thing and it covers up the legs a little bit. So it's, it's, it makes it a bit tricky to pick a cool, good angle so that you can show it so that it reads nicely. Especially when you're only using black and white. Mm -hmm. That's his other knee pad, and that's his other knee pad, somewhere there, so this leg would go somewhere. And when you start getting to the legs, it's you know, easily start looking like he's gonna fall down or he lose the kind of stability and it looks like it's just floating off a page. <laughs> it's, it's tricky. Do you usually go like from the head down or start from both legs? Does it feel easier then? Mm, usually I start from from the head or the chest and work my way like up and down from that. So if I would uh, draw out a person, I usually might, if it's like a full boat, a full pose, like a body, then I would probably start from like doing this kind of too much smoothing. <laughs> yeah, so you can either, you know, start from the head and you know, you work work from there but, but sometimes I work from like doing this kind of like a lot of people do this like this peanut shape mm -hmm. which kind of gives you the uh, the torso and the pelvis area a little bit because that defines a lot of the the pose it's really hard to if you go from the head and you go from down there uh, down from the head the the pose you have to kind of think far ahead and it's really hard to you know mm -hmm. it's usually ends up being being kind of like the same pose so it's kind of standing or maybe a little bit because uh, if you go from here you can kind of think about how is the what's the angle of the shoulders and what's the angle of the hips mm -hmm. and that gives you more idea of the pose and it's not too difficult to go from there to the head as either like it's like i'm not the greatest at doing people my anatomy needs more practice We'll go from here to mm -hmm. and get the torso. You can kind of get this this flow flow of the body a bit better than if you go from just from the head. Yeah. But it depends. Oops. I'm not gonna go there. He already looks stiff enough. I guess Frodo wants an emote. He wants to make an emote of uh, Little Frodo anniversary mark two. Oh yeah. You know how could we make an emote out of this one? <laughs> on the head. I have no experience on making emotes or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> pixel art or just throw him a PNG and do it and rest.
Yeah, sorry about those blings, the VLC is doing some silly things. Thrusters of you. Huh? They asked more oh, thrusters. Fuck. Yeah. Alright. We should we add thrusters. <laughs> I don't know. Like where can I fit any more thrusters? I can make some small ones maybe here. Yeah. No, no, that doesn't actually work does it cover those ones. No, there's a big one in here already. Maybe some arm thrusters. That was enough. We blend. We blend. Cool. There we go. Yeah, because there could be some in the back. Like the the back part would be something like you know it would have like a. Like a, like a chassis or like this covering. Uh, this cover plate at the back. Here, like his head would be somewhere here. Right, so we have this. I think like uh, Red Tiger has something like this as well. It's like big covering, and then there would be a bunch of thrusters inside here, like maybe three or four. I have one that's pointing a little bit down. Now it looks like a face.
bent. here anywhere it's in the back so me yeah let's just put some more kind of these finishing touches a little bit here and there so after this we're gonna get some um, 3d from Saudi Yes, we will add a new dimension. Yes, third dimension. <laughs> I'm just trying to make make the illusion of three dimensions happen here. people we have hiding behind the banner. Still no one activated the steam key. We're gonna have to try harder. What? Everybody already owns the game. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so, so good that everyone owns it. So anyone have any final questions for Temu? His time is about to end. Oh no. <laughs> Temu's time is about to end. Yes. I'm not done yet. Te Temu's stream will terminate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have plenty more space, but let's crop this guy down a little bit. Yeah. Some 
post post processing trickery. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need it. It's very kind of like traditional looking, mm -hmm. ink looking thing. But you know, I don't know. Try doing some. Let's see. If I have five minutes. I can try some gradient stuff. Maybe. I'm not sure if this is really. But you only have one. Only have one. I only have one minute. Oh, I only <laughs> have one. stuff maybe soften soften it out a little bit one good thing is as well, as well that you can do is kind of <laughs> push up push that oh, kind of other side a little bit back so it gives this illusion of depth a little bit it's not a really easy trick I'm not sure about the gradient though no, I guess it's okay just maybe tone it down a little bit Prop it a little better. Well, you should, Frodo. It has your name on it. Yeah, it has your name on it. <laughs> you better love it. For Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. And we can even do, like, if one of we can do this kind of blur trickery. It's always nice. Well, not always, but see, motion blur is nice here. We can do that. Give it some dynamic, dynamicness. Not just like that, but then, you know, maybe push, you know, like the edge just a little bit with the blur like this, you know, the hand, because it does, doesn't really have much anything. Maybe that's a bit too much. Oh yeah, a signature, it needs a signature. Oh, yeah. You mean my signature? Well, of course, you're the artist. Yeah, sure. All right, let me just... <laughs> yeah. There we go. This is the way to actually do it nowadays. And jumps. <laughs> you should make a new signature, it's not that <laughs> great. But Cool. Yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, uh, in like 15 or so minutes, we're gonna have an extra dimension and a very tall Hungarian guy <laughs> on stream. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not full